Alrighty guys, what's up, what's up? This is a microphone test. This is a microphone test. So, over to the side of me, uh, what I've actually created, and I'll show you uh, with my uh, cell phone camera. I'll just take a quick video with it and upload it uh, to YouTube. But um, tomorrow, I'm actually going with a friend and we're actually going to create uh, a short film together. I'm, I'm starting to uh, use my equipment uh, in creating short films. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I just got this new gimbal. Um, I still have my old one, uh, my Zhenyun Crane M2, okay? And um, I also have now the Zhenyun Weebel uh, 3. I didn't get the 3S. I didn't get the uh, Zhenyun Crane uh, M2S or, you know, whatever. And that's what I have. So I have a, a, a gimbal for uh, smaller cameras or uh, action cameras, like point-and-shoot cameras. Um, you know, cameras of, like, this size and stuff. And then I have this one for my DSLR. This one is going to be exclusively for my DSLR, uh, or it's also going to be, um, you know, used with other cameras, but mostly my big DSLR, okay? My Nikon D5600. Um, and what's cool about both of those gimbals is they work with my cell phone, so I can use my cell phone like, for instance, uh, so for instance, okay, this is my cell phone. If I was to do this with my cell phone, the gimbal would actually rotate, okay? Or if I was to do this, you know, I could do the, you know, the tilt axis, pan axis. I could do all the axes. And there's also sliders within my cell phone uh, to, you know, maneuver certain things with both my gimbals. Uh, there's even... Um, whatchamacallit, um, like a stop and record button, you know. So, I have something for you, okay? I'm testing this out. Um, let me know how the audio level is on my camera, on my DSLR, my Nikon D5600, okay? And this is for those of you who have this kind of setup or want to do this kind of setup. On my audio settings, the microphone level is set to 10, okay? 10, one zero. Um, what I have over to the left of me, so basically where this arm is pointing, going, I have a microphone, uh, it's a shotgun mic, on a homemade boom stand. Now, it sucks, okay? It really sucks. That, I'm just going to tell you. I mean, it, it sucks if I was to compare it to an actual microphone boom stand that is all built, has the proper pieces. This is a homemade makeshift one. Something that Marcus Picks would actually make. Believe it or not. I know he would make this. Um, I'll show you what it's made out of uh, with my cell phone camera. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll show you the whole apparatus. Uh, I'll keep everything connected, you know, my DSLR and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm first. I'm gonna upload this video, then I'll upload the next one. That way, you know, they're in sequence. So what I have is I have my tripod. Okay, I'm gonna talk about it now, and then I'll show you. And then I have uh, I have my tripod. And it was a cheap tripod. It was like $10. I didn't really pay much for it. It was at a uh, recycling center. They have a store there. You can buy old computers. Uh, you can buy a whole bunch of other things. Um, I've even bought brand new stuff there. Like they had a whole flight stick there from SciTech from about like probably maybe 10, 8 years ago. And it was still in a brand new box with the CD. And I gave it to my buddy. It was like $23. They didn't even know what to price it at. And online, I've seen them go for like $130. Bucks, brand new. 
even used. Uh, and it's when SciTech was SciTech before they got bought out by Logitech. So basically, I got this microphone stand. I got this uh, tripod. It's just a basic tripod, like something like an Amazon Basics tripod, but it's not Amazon Basics. Um, you know, those tripods that you see online for like, I don't know, 20 bucks. Then I have uh, a monopod, which is from uh, Best Buy. And this monopod was like 20 some dollars, you know, stuff like that. And it, I'm glad I got it, actually. I wish I got a second one. You know, maybe I'll go get the same one, you know, from Best Buy again. Then I'm using a ball head mount uh, at the tip of the monopod, you know, with this... Um, I'll show you uh, with the hot shoe mount and then my uh, shotgun mic and stuff like that. Um, you know, hooked up to it. But you're going to see how I mounted the uh, monopod to my tripod. You're going to see that. Uh, I basically use like this, this bicycle handlebar mount. You know, I'll show you. But... The reason why I did this setup is because I'm testing out the microphone. I'm testing out the audio level. Right now, I have my lens zoomed in. Now, if I zoom out the lens, you know, if I zoom everything out, it's still not going to show the microphone. See, I told you where the microphone is, but you, you wouldn't have noticed if I didn't tell you. You can't see it because... It's uh, zoomed in, but I'm gonna zoom out and, and you still won't be able to see it. Okay, so I am zoomed out right now at 18 uh, you know, millimeters. This, this uh, is the basic lens that comes with uh, this camera. I don't have any other lenses for this camera, okay? I'm at 18 millimeters. Do you still see the uh, microphone boom stand and the microphone itself? No. I know a lot of people, you know, will say, well, you can just cut this out, you know, take a shot of this, uh, audio, you know, get your audio separate. Yeah, you can, look, I'll tell you this. You can basically do something that takes five hours. Great. Go take your five hours. Or you can do something like this where the microphone is hooked up and it takes you five seconds. Which would you rather take though? Five hours or five seconds? And do a professional job at five seconds. It's not that five hours or five seconds means a good job or a bad job. No, 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 no. Because you can do a good job for just in five seconds, okay? So I have it at 18 millimeters and you don't see it. I figured out a way to make it to where I can get good audio and not have the microphone and the whole boom stand in the picture. It's it's that simple. Now the cable I have connected, uh, it's long enough for what I'm doing right now. If I'm out in the field, I'm going to need a longer cable. And of course, I'm going to need to really set the microphone uh like in a really good position that's not too far and not too close because I don't want it in the shot but I also don't want it really far where um, it won't pick up the audio I need it to. Me and my buddy are going to shoot the first film uh, tomorrow, short film, and we're going to try our best, um, you know, at shooting this film. So I, I we're going to do some takes. We're going to see what works. I... I really wish, like, uh, I had, like, some laptop on hand uh, uh, to uh, review all the audio on because it, most likely I'm going to review it on my camera. I am going to bring my, my field monitor, uh, so maybe I'll use that, plug in my headphones, and, and see what it looks like. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to charge everything tonight. Let's go back to uh, 35 millimeters. So like I said, the lens that I'm using is 18 to 55 millimeters. Um, 
the lens that came with this camera, the microphone boom stand and microphone uh, are all over here. Oh, and there's a bag on it. Just my camera bag. It's a single camera bag. All I did was um, I left what was in there for added weight, and then and then uh, I put a um, one of those uh, cell phone battery packs. Uh, you know, the portable battery packs in there, and that's it. That way, it just you know, acts like a a weight uh, distributor in the back of the uh, the whole boom. Uh, you know, pull and all that, uh, the monopod. So, this is my setup. Look, there's a lot of you on YouTube who show you how to properly set this up, show you how to set one up, show you how to build it from any piece possible that you have laying around the house, any type of equipment. Okay? This is the way I did it. I'm going to show you, uh, you know, on my cell phone. Uh, I'm gonna just take a quick video and yeah I, I mean hey how cheap is this <laughs> very cheap I already had the parts so basically it was free but if I put all the parts together <laughs> I don't even know but I, but I mean you know I, I'm yeah okay sure if I go on Amazon, you know, I, I can probably uh, buy one for like 20 bucks, you know, and it comes with everything. But I have parts laying around. I didn't have to really buy anything new is what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, this is a setup I have. So let me know uh, in the comment section if, uh, you know, the audio is great, the video is great. Um, I'm actually using uh, one of my panel lights uh, on top of my camera. These panel lights are really great, and I, and they don't have these on Amazon anymore. They do not have these on Amazon. Um, I wish I got four of them, and like eight batteries, because these are really great lights. I got these for 20 bucks, or what did they cost? Yeah, 20 bucks, or $25. And it came, I think, as a set of two, or a set of one, uh, maybe 20 bucks, I don't know, but... And, and they're like a no-name brand. I mean, and they and they work with the NP550 batteries. I have like uh, four of them for these lights because there are two of them that I have that I cannot use with this. So I use those for my field monitor. So I have two for my field monitor and four for my panel lights. But these lights are really good. They actually do have a, a color change and a dimmer. Uh, and they also plug in. Uh, via a 12 volt adapter which uh, is what uh, the one on my camera is attached to uh, so you can use them with NP550 batteries you know NP batteries and you can plug them into the wall so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, please like subscribe and share I know I haven't posted uh, videos that much but hey I'm gonna start really getting back into it I've actually been learning a lot I've been watching a lot of videos online reading a lot of articles about how to use your equipment that you already have use different stuff for different things uh, set them up you know in such a way so it it works you know alrighty guys um, so I'm gonna go use my uh, cell phone camera uh, to uh, show you uh, what I what I have and what I've made oh and the distance from me and the microphone, I guess would be about like maybe probably one foot, you know, two feet. That's about it. But let me know in the comment section what you think about the audio and the video. See, tell me if it's great, you know, because this is what I'm going to be working with. I don't care to have some type of separate audio recorder. I mean... I already have one here. It's my cell phone. I don't need to buy one. Uh, but I like plugging my microphones into my cameras because, hey, I know the audio and my mouth are synced up. I don't have to worry, you know, oh my gosh, it doesn't sync up. That's another thing. Syncing up, syncing up audio uh, to someone's lips. Haven't you guys ever seen those videos, those movies that come out of Hollywood where you can just tell they recorded the audio separately 
because it doesn't sync up with their lips. I hate watching those movies. I can't stand them. It's like, bro, the audio is great, but it doesn't sync up with their lips. There's like a there's like a, a five second delay. You know, it's it's not synced up. See, I I could practice at it. I could become good at it, but I just don't want to deal with that. So I rather just plug in everything. You know, plug and play. Alrighty, guys. Bye, Riser Candy Kid. Signing out. Like always, like, subscribe, share, or don't like, subscribe, and share. I don't care. It's not about views or anything. It's about bringing you good content, and I want you to make the world a better place. Use your camera and your microphone to expose the evil. Mm -hmm. One camera, one microphone at a time. Let's, keep, let's, let's beat the devil out of that brush. Let's reverse the process of, um, of, the, uh, of the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Okay. Of the singularity. We, we do not need to go that route. Let's use this equipment for the greater good of humanity. Let's make great movies. Let's, let's create short films. Let's expose evil. And don't be a vigilante either. A lot of you will know what I'm talking about. Watch Days of Noah, Armor of Truth, Marcus Picks. Okay. Um, you know, Google Foods. Watch all these good channels that provide good content that is healthy for you. Sadhguru, Woodward TV, just to name a few. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoy. Peace.